Hey, good morning. I'm meteorologist Katherine Maxwell. We do bring back a better chance for some rain today, especially as we head later in the afternoon and during this evening. We're going with a 70% chance. So this morning, a couple of spotty showers are possible, but they'll become more widespread during the day. Can't rule out the chance either for a couple of isolated storms to move in. That looks possible during the afternoon and the early evening hours. Warm temperature still for today. We have raised that temperature up since the show yesterday, if you tuned in. So we are going with the high of 65 for Bluefield. Some of the area will hit into the 70s yet again today. So right now, most of us starting off dry. We will have an increase in cloud cover continue throughout the day as we have this system make its way into our area. This is what's going to bring us that widespread rain. Back behind it, though, we can expect some cooler and some windy conditions. Today, wind gusts will be about 25 miles per hour. That cooler air will start to wrap in along with those stronger winds coming out of the northwest. Wind gusts for Thursday will be about 30, even upwards to 40 miles per hour for some of the area. So things will be changing within the next couple of days. Rainfall totals today really not impressive with these showers. Could have a heavy downpour too, though, if thunderstorms do form. But most of us look to see rainfall rates less than half an inch throughout the area. So flooding doesn't look to be a concern for us today. So that's good news. Along with our severe weather threats low over the area too, the Storm Prediction Center has tried to push this marginal risk into our area. It's trying to peek in, but overall we're still thinking severe chances are low for us. Could have a stronger storm though with heavy downpours, some strong gusty winds at times, and some hail can't be ruled out of the forecast either, but overall severe threat mainly off to the east and down to our south. So a couple of spotty showers are possible during that morning drive. The system looks like it's coming a little bit later than what we showed yesterday on the morning show, but overall we can expect widespread rain later in the afternoon, during the evening, and even a little bit after sunset. We'll still hold on to a few showers. By early tomorrow morning, most of the rain looks to be fizzling off, tapering out of the area too. Tomorrow, a little bit of a cooler day. These aren't our lows. These are our highs. Temperatures for most will only be into the 50s. A couple of spots even could only settle into the upper 40s tomorrow afternoon. Looking at actually drier conditions for Thursday, but where we are having this direction come out of the northwest, that could gear a little bit of moisture along the western facing slopes. Cooler air in place for us Thursday night and into Friday morning, so it is possible if some moisture is present. We could see a few flakes mixed in with some of that rain, but that's only likely for the higher elevations in Greenbrier and Pocahontas counties. Here's a look at our temperatures for the next few days. Today we're in the 60s and lower 70s. It'll feel much cooler though. Highs will only be into the 50s for us as we close the work week into the weekend and even into next week. We're still looking at temperatures mainly heading into the 50s and the lower 60s. Those low temperatures fall down Thursday night into the 30s, stay that way into Friday night and into Saturday morning. A little bit of rain into the forecast this weekend, but Thursday and Friday so far are looking mostly dry for the area. 